Hey, what's up, folks? My name's Patrick, and you're watching Mind the Gap. It's like four years. I started when I came to Japan. Kind of needed something to kind of pass my time besides video games. About four. Uh, it's always been Shin Yokohama. Shin Yokohama has been like one of the biggest skate parks in Japan, but it can get, I don't know, it can be overly like used. So sometimes skating just near home is like pretty dope. Uh, as far as skating is concerned, like, man, skating is so like constantly evolving. So it's like, it can be one setup, it can be a different setup, but I, I got the setup for the country. That's all I can call it. So, like Japan's always on that ninja quietness. They can't stand a lot of noise, so I got like soft wheels. So it's like whenever I'm going through the streets, it's mad quiet. And man, I got that speed. So usually I just like soft and quiet. That's why I like, that's about it. I mean, at first it was like, it was like the homies that, I, that, that put me on skating. Like, the people that guided me onto it, they were a beast, man. They were all like the biggest stuff. And that stuff was like amazing. It was like, instead of watching on the video game, I'm watching it live. But like, real reality kicked in. And I was like, well, I can't do that. But skateboarding did show me like, it's a way to be creative, the way to show your, your, your own expression. It kind of connects in one way, like when you see another boarder on the street, you're just like, oh yeah, he skates, he skates too. But there's so many different like skateboarders out there. I feel like in a way, it's not a community. It's more like just seeing another stranger on the street. But there is a type of bond. Well, when you get with your friends and y'all skate in the same place, then it really starts to become more of a community because all y'all are like just having fun together. I guess I have a hobby of drawing. I like uh, doing like little, I don't know, imagine like a four-year-old trying to draw like a magnificent type of landscape. I like drawing like that. It kind of helps, I don't know, it's just another way to, uh, another outlet to kind of throw my creativity to. But yeah, I feel like my skateboarding and my art all work together. So it's like whatever that happens in my skateboarding, kind of put it in my artwork. Yeah, that's about it. Art, it's just one of those things that was a natural gift. I just had it, didn't know what to do with it. I mean, I remember being in class and like I'm drawing like these masterpieces and everybody was like, dang Pat, that's so cool. Like, where did you learn how to draw? I was like, yo, I just, I have this since day one, but I don't know what to do with it. It's like, you kind of get bored of it because you had it for the rest of your life. I keep it really simple, man. Like a lot of people here at the university I go to, they use all these like weird names. I just need a pack of crayons. Shoot, just give me a pencil. I'll make a, I'll make a Mona Lisa out of that. Yeah, 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 pretty much. So, uh, I heard about that. I really don't see what they see, but I know like, I get happy mad easy. Like anything can make me happy. Sometimes, skateboarding is a sport where you fall a lot. Sometimes falling makes me happy. I sit there and laugh when I fall. But uh. I don't know, man. I would say like the main source of my happiness is always like at the end of the day, it's like, I'm just, I have God to be thankful for. So really, that's it. Shout out to all the people that took time to teach me skateboarding, uh, teach me some tricks. I'm stubborn, I'm so stubborn. Like I like to do things my way and that kind of keeps me happy. But at the same time, it's like, you gotta learn more. You gotta like, the only way to expand, to expand your own world is to learn from other people's world. So, shout out to all the people that's like taking time to teach others how to skate. 